YouTube, what is up? Today we are doing life update number four, I believe. And it's March, so I always do them in March and September. And as you guys know, last March was uh, when coronavirus started. I don't remember if I talked about it. I should rewatch that video just to see like how far I came and stuff. But if you guys want to see that video, here it is. Links down below, links up there. Check it out. I also have three other ones if you want to check them out as well. But this is part four. And yeah, let's get started on this life update because sometimes these can be a little long, so I'm trying to cut that out <laughs> it's march kind of scary considering that literally the world completely changed pretty much almost a year ago i think it was like the one year anniversary yesterday i don't remember but someone posted that and yeah it's just crazy to think that you know we're still in lockdown in some places but some places are opening up like texas and that's pretty crazy that that is actually happening <laughs> we'll see how it goes for them i hope i'm hoping good um, because I honestly didn't think we were going to go back to normal life for years. And by to me, normal life is just no mask at all and no reservations. You're able to walk in somewhere, festivals, traveling, no restrictions, like, but we all need the vaccine. I will get into the vaccine that's going to be its own topic later but first i wanted to start off with something that's like affecting me right now and that's bothering me right now is the idea of working a nine to five we all have heard of it some of us are doing it right now and to me it's just bs like i'm just gonna get straight into it like i don't understand how it's so normalized to work a nine to five especially at a job you don't like and you're supposed to be okay with that so here's the thing i tried it out right and i'm still in it right now but i don't know i just feel like it's not for me and i'm honestly scared to say that because it's like what do you mean it's not for you like everyone works a nine to five that's how you survive like that's how you make money that's what you're supposed to do literally 80 percent of your life like you're supposed to do it for literally maybe 50 years or so plus that until you can retire at like what 67 and i just my mind is telling me you're not cut out for it like what are you gonna do then like you got a degree it's like what are you gonna do and honestly it's a scary thought but i mean not everyone does work a nine to five you know and there's still people who are successful however they creatively do that i always knew deep down that i always wanted to be like my own boss and blah 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 you know i feel like a lot of people would want that but it's all about who's gonna work hard enough to get it pretty much let's backtrack to the nine to five thing anyways i just don't understand how like that is normalized like because i feel like it's so unfair because i bet you not gonna say majority, but a lot of people out there don't like what they're doing for their nine to five, and that's how they are living. Like, isn't the point of life to live and be happy? Like, we're working, slaving away all these hours, and you're going home just to sleep to do it all over again tomorrow, and you're probably not getting paid that much for whatever you're doing, and you only get two days off to yourself, and then when you do need sick time or vacation, like, that's not long in itself either. Like, I just feel like it's a scam. Like, is life a scam? Am I crazy? I just can't believe that now that I'm adult and I'm adulting and I'm looking into these jobs, I'm doing these jobs, I'm just like, this is what you guys are all doing? I don't know, I feel like I am an outlier or something or some weirdo thinking these thoughts because, I mean, or maybe people are just afraid to think these thoughts or give up on the 9 to 5 idea, the norm, because... You won't survive and that's the sad truth not that you won't but like it's kind of just hard to and it's on and honestly it's just easier to stay in the nine to five because you already know it and it's manageable you can do it it's just you don't want to do it and it just blows my mind because i know so many people who are working in those kinds of jobs and they don't like it and they're not even living their life like it's every day like i'm working i'm working i'm working oh i'm off on tuesday wednesdays whatever but like after that, I have to go back to work. And I just think it's so wrong. It's so unfair. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts on working in a 9 to 5. And if you guys think I'm crazy. But I just know I don't think it's going to be in the cards for me forever. I don't think I can do it that long. Like, I can work part-time. I can work a job part-time that I don't like. Because I will be gone within 4 to 5 hours, right? And I still have a lot of my day to live, relax, do the things that I enjoy. Which is like 
spending time with my dog or you know the simplest little things sleep relax and doing activities that you love that you save your money for to do that could be traveling that could be playing video games that could be creatively doing something maybe hands-on at home i don't know and it's just crazy to me that that time is only allowed for you two days out of the week but the other five days you must work hard to get those two days and maybe possibly a week or two for vacation that's if you're not sick you know what's another thing like on your days off what if you have a doctor's appointment to go to you're supposed to use your two days off for that doctor appointment and then you just have to go to work like doctor appointments aren't fun we don't want to do that for fun on our days off and honestly you're too tired to even celebrate your days off because you've been working all week you just want to relax you don't even want to spend your money because you don't want to go out and do something fun you don't want to put on that outfit you just bought because you were working so hard and you just want to sleep i just feel like it's a scam i don't know there's there's a scam to everything i feel like and the whole the fact that i'm thinking life is a scam in a way is just and that's why there's people who try to find their way around this norm because honestly it's kind of unfair but if you love it perfect then <laughs> much props to you i just feel like i'm too much of an a player to work for someone else uh, like i just feel like i can't do it like forever i i can't like i'm just gonna have to get creative and work harder whatever it is that i'm gonna come up with to beat this <laughs> um now I want to talk about the vaccine and reopening because that's actually happening right now as we speak so soon for some states around the U.S. Like it's crazy and I don't know how I feel about it. I would love to reopen but at the same time I would prefer everyone to get vaccinated. I know people might be like, no I don't want that vaccine. It's gonna hurt you. Kill you. Let me just say this, if you watched this vlog, you knew I was in a study for the vaccine. I was trying it out and I will tell you this, you might call me an insane psychopath. I've already heard it. Like, why would you do it? Like, it's not worth the money. Like, yeah, the money was nice. Like, I literally got paid $2,000 pretty much to get the vaccine. And I am vaccinated right now. And I can tell you just from my personal experience, not anyone else's who's had it. Other people are different from me. I had no problem. I'm not a person who's scared of things like that, I guess, and that's just me. Maybe you are, or maybe you're fearful and you don't think it's worth it, and that's completely fine. But to me, I do think it's worth getting vaccinated because I do think one day it's going to be a requirement to do things. And that's another reason why I did it, because I'm a person who loves going to festivals. I love traveling, you know, stuff like that. And I feel like one day they're going to be like, can I see your vaccine card? And I'm going to be like, here it is. And so that's the main reason why I did it. And also because I wanted to, like the main reason of the study was to just help others get this too and to make sure it's safe for others. So I want others to be able to see their, I don't know if this sounds extreme, but like their grandma who's dying maybe or their grandpa who's in the hospital with no problem, you know, like stuff like that. And so to be in a study where there's hope for so many people, if this does work, it was worth it to me. There's like a lot of reasons um, into doing this, but yeah, I am vaccinated now and I feel great. My symptoms after being vaccinated was, by the way, I got vaccinated in August. So that's almost a year ago. I got vaccinated in August and I didn't even know I was vaccinated because it was a study. Again, watch this vlog if you want to know more. Um, it was a blind study. And so they revealed it to me probably a couple weeks ago. And the only symptom I remember having after getting that shot, the second one, and the first one, I guess, is just soreness in the arm, which I usually get every time I get a shot. I had an amazing experience with it, and I know I'm young, so I don't know if that affects anything or makes it different for anyone else, but that's just my kind of stance on it, and if you're watching this, I would advise you probably get to get the vaccine, but if you're not comfortable, that's completely fine. Like, I not gonna be like oh my god like you need to get it like you're dumb because people have said that to me and or like you know i don't know i'm an adult i can make my own decisions and it worked out for me and i'm happy so if your decision is the opposite fine great but i just suggest it that's what i think i just want the world honestly to get back to normal as soon as possible in a way but at the same time i'm kind of fearful of it being back to normal is that weird is anyone else scared of it being normal again i just am so used to this like lifestyle now of kind of just you know social distancing distancing mask whatever like i'm kind of scared of going back because like i don't know what if that 
world we had before was more scary than the one we have now. Does that sound crazy? That that sounded crazy. Okay, um, <laughs> moving on. That's just my stance on the vaccine. All right, this is one that probably a lot of people were thinking of, and on my channel through these videos, I really want to be transparent, open, honest. That's the whole point. Like I admire YouTubers who are honest and open, and they never lie about anything, pretty much. And and so I want to. Be open and honest because I decided to share my life with you guys and a big part of my life is my boyfriend Ryan and of course it always sounds like we broke up but the thing is we did and I feel like a lot of people caught on to that it was like two months of a solid like we weren't talking we broke up blah 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 and of course it was a tough time and I'm not going to explain exactly what happened I feel like if you really really pay attention to my videos and you look at the time frame of everything honestly you could figure it out you could figure out like what happened you can at least figure out the big picture idea the only hint I will say is we were supposed to do a lot of things together and then that did not go as planned and of course that um, kind of ruined the relationship at the time but you know, I think this guy's gonna be my soulmate because we just keep coming back together and every time we do it just gets so much better and it's um stronger. It sounds cheesy, but it's true. Like I know no one's ever going to compare to him and he knows no one's ever gonna compare to me. That sounds so like cocky, but I'm like I'm being serious. Like there's just no other me, there's no other you, whoever's watching this, there's no other him, there's you know everyone's like one in a what seven billion people i think we might have hit eight now i don't know no a lot of people died i think this year you know what i'm saying so i just feel like yes for those who are wondering and actually are watching this video your questions are finally answered and you heard yes there was a breakup yes he wasn't in a lot of videos yes i was single for a time being and now i'm not and i'm very happy i'm happier than ever with him he is the reason why I keep going pretty much every day because trust me we all been there some days are just so hard and you don't want to keep going but like he's the reason why I do because of the future I imagine with him and the future he imagines with me and so I it sounds so I know I know myself and I know I love myself and I like know that I, I'm that bitch whatever right like I have that mentality but with him it's like I don't want to live without you not that I would lose myself but like my life's not complete without you does that make sense and so yeah that's kind of it with him like I said if you guys want to know more I really do think you could figure it out based on the hints I gave it's what she deserves Oh. But I will not be talking about exactly in detail what happened because still I have a level of like personal stuff that I want to keep to myself but again like I feel like that's a big piece to even open up with on the internet and so yeah that's all I'm gonna share. The last thing I kind of really want to talk about again I'm trying to keep this shorter because these videos usually run like 20 minutes so I hope we don't hit that mark. Um, but the last thing I kind of really want to talk about is worrying about the future and how that affects like your mental health like a whole lot and I struggle with this so bad I would say I've been struggling with this the most the past six months I am a worrier for no reason like it's all in my head Ryan will try to reassure me and tell me that it's all in my head but like I struggle so bad and I'm like curious of if others struggle with this as well but you're constantly worrying about the future and like why you're not living in the present because you're just thinking of like Am I going to be able to survive in the future? Am I going to have enough money to live on my own in the future? Am I going to be happy in the future? Am I going to be doing this in the future? I'm going to be turning another year older in the future. I'm, what if coronavirus doesn't go away in the future? What if, You know, all these things I'm constantly thinking about in the morning, at night, during the day. And it's really, really bad. Like, it's really sickening, honestly. And... It's no way to live because, yeah, you're thinking about future, future, future. What's going to happen? What house are you going to... You know what? But like, what about now? Cause I was thinking this probably last year about today and I'm here today worrying about a year, two, three. It's so bad. Like I'm thinking about my wedding, my kids, like blah, blah, blah. Why am I thinking that? Why? And it's really frustrating and I still haven't stopped worrying 
because there's no switch that's just like don't worry don't care if you guys watch vampire diaries don't you wish sometimes i know this might sound bad like the humanity switch you could just turn it off and have no feelings and you wouldn't like you know yeah, i wish that sometimes with that and again that's super bad to wish i feel like like who doesn't want emotion because emotions obviously are a part of life when you're feeling really good it's obviously amazing but again when you're feeling so down that's why you want to shut off your humanity switch just because you don't want to feel and so kind of you know like I, I wouldn't say like i'm depressed right now like i'm not depressed i'm just a bit down on myself worrying so much about things I don't need to be worrying about because I am only 22 and I hate that there's like I don't even know if there's a stigma around it but like that could be old to some people and I know it's not like 22 I know it's not old but like when you're comparing yourself to maybe other 22 year olds who more who are more successful who have more money or who are more fortunate enough to you know be given money from parents or whatever it is right you compare yourself and think like wow like I'm not at that level it's like where am I gonna be when I'm 23, when that person who's 23 is doing all this? And like, you can't think like that because it's so bad. And like, yeah, my brain knows that. Like, I can say that to you right now, but like, I guess my heart like doesn't know that. I really need to get over that and I don't really know how. So maybe I should look that up on Reddit or something. I don't know. I don't know, are you any of you guys worriers? You worry about like, big things that are gonna happen in the future that you really don't need to be worrying about right now? Because if you are, <laughs> because <laughs> if you are just stop i know it's hard i can't even stop but i'm gonna at least try however that is but yeah so this is my life update to you guys in march i'm hoping that you know things get better because like i said i am down my brain my brain is a little different than others right now i just feel kind of hopeless but at the same time i have hope i have bigger ideas that i want to chase but at the same time i'm afraid but like i'm gonna do it i don't know the only, thing, the only thing i'm afraid of is losing money that's another problem i have like if i put my time and energy and money into something like i don't want to lose it but again like ryan said this to me he's like you don't want to be 85 years old wondering what if i tried this would I be here today? Would I be doing this? Like, what would I have been doing then? And yeah, so. Oh, I should probably update you guys on my mom as well because if you watch my videos, you know that she was diagnosed with breast cancer stage one, but you know, she's been dealing with this whole chemo, radiation, just cancer overall for over a year. And the last thing we wanted was her to go to work and get COVID, so. I'm happy she actually got her vaccine. She doesn't have the second one yet, the second shot, but we'll get there. And her hair is growing back and she's slowly but surely going to be much better. And so that makes me uh, sleep better at night. I just can't wait till we can go out together again because we haven't been out together for a long time. And that's another reason why working right now also sucks because I feel like I feel guilty going to work knowing that this is time I should probably be spending with my mom because she's gonna have to go to work again soon doing the nine to five deal and this is like her vacation time off in a way that she was luckily blessed with and we can do it together but I'm working so I don't know we'll see how that all plays out but i'm just so happy that she's doing much better and thank you guys so much for all the support and you know checking in and it means a lot um she appreciates it as well but things are looking brighter for her i hope this life update wasn't too all over the place again i would just say i'm okay right now a bit more down but not the worst i've ever been and not the best i've ever been and so i just want to wish you guys a great life you know, we all deserve one and don't work too hard. Take your breaks at work, you know, enjoy the little things in life. Stay off social media sometimes. Get your bag. Don't give up. Now I'm just saying cheesy stuff, but I hope this video helps you guys in some way. If you are feeling any of these feelings to reassure you, you are not alone. And even though I look super happy online or whatever it is, like I'm not all the time, like I am struggling, you know, like right now I'm struggling, not financially, just kind of mentally in my head.
care how old you are, there's still always time to do whatever you want to do and don't let other people judge you for it. Just because at the end of the day, like you're living for you, not for them, and you want to be able to sleep at night happy. They're going to sleep happy whatever with whatever is going on in their life, right? And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this life day. I hope things are a bit brighter, sunnier in September when I film part five of this video series, I guess you want to call it. And I just hope everything works out for you regardless of who you are. And yeah, I hope things work out for me too. On that note, I'm going to relax now and just chill and hope to not be too much in my head. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will continue to do more. And if you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and I will see you in September. Bye guys.